Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lois, and today we have a very exciting and long-awaited video. As you guys can tell from the title, it is my updated jewelry collection. I do one every year, and I know you guys have been waiting, and I'm so excited to be finally filming this for you guys. It always feels a little bit sentimental when I film this because if you guys have been with me from the very beginning of my channel, you guys will know that a jewelry collection was the very first video that I ever uploaded on my YouTube channel and you guys loved the jewelry content. It's also what kickstarted my channel. So it always feels like a full circle moment and I feel super grateful whenever I come back to film this video. So for my most worn everyday pieces, quality is everything for me and I think it's also important when building your everyday collection, especially because you wanna make sure that it's not gonna tarnish and they're pieces that will last you forever. And for someone like me, I work out, shower, sleep. I never really take my jewelry off. So mostly everything that I'm gonna show you guys is 14 karat gold, specifically yellow gold because that's just my personal preference. In this video, I'm only gonna be sharing with you guys my top favorite pieces and brands that I really love and value. And you guys will recognize a lot of them as you guys see me wear these pieces all the time. I'm gonna start off with my rings. The rings haven't changed too much on the right hand. I've had the same stack for years now, so I'm just gonna quickly go down. But this is the Missouri Stacker Ring. And then I love these, I have a bunch of these. This is the chain ring from a Korean boutique. And then I've stacked two diamond team rings. They're half diamond from Missouri. This was my very first Missouri piece, and I've had them for years. The quality is amazing. And then stacked it with my Cartier Thin Love ring this is in a size 47 this is the signet ring with my initial l from popular jewelry in chinatown and then another stacker ring and on this hand it's the one that i usually get a little bit more creative and change up quite often hands down my favorite pieces from missouri are their rings especially their diamond pieces because their diamonds are such high quality i've had multiple pieces from them for years i've never had any issues this is currently my favorite and there are two bold diamond eternity bands that I've stacked on top of each other. And it is such a gorgeous piece, especially when it hits the light, it glistens so beautifully. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more of their diamond pieces that I like. This is the Charlotte Pave diamond ring. And then I've stacked three rings here. The top and bottom are the bold beaded diamond ring. This one's in white gold and yellow gold. And then this is what I showed you guys earlier, the bold diamond eternity ring. And this is a Pave Signet ring. This is another favorite of mine. This one's really sparkly and fun, as well as this heart diamond ring. Again, all of these are real gold, so they're part of my everyday ring collection, and I kind of just mix and match on this hand. Another one of my favorite rings at the moment is this Coco Crush ring from Chanel in the classic size. They also come out with a thinner version. So I usually stick to yellow gold, but when I went to go try this on multiple times, I ended up liking the beige gold a lot better. It's a lot more subtle and not as pink. And so I went for the beige gold instead. I usually like to wear it on its own, but also sometimes I'll stack it with my other diamond pieces like this. And it makes it like a statement piece. I'm sure you guys recognize these pieces that I showed last time. This is the heart ring. This is not diamonds, it's cubic zirconia. And then I wanna believe that this is like plated with sterling silver. And then these pearl rings. I actually first found out about the brand through Instagram because I saw these pearl pieces and I immediately knew I wanted to get them. But now when I go to Korea, I visit the boutique. I've become friends with the CEO there as well. And she's super cute, lovely. And they also ship internationally. So if you ever visit, you guys should check out the store. This is another one that I really like. It's the Onyx with Pearl. This one has more of like a vintage vibe feeling to it. Love these kind of like one of a kind pieces. You wouldn't wear every day, but definitely like a statement piece. Moving on to earrings, I change up my ear stack quite often, but almost all my pieces are from a brand called Ideal, and they're a small sustainable jewelry brand in Brussels. They're my favorite brand for earrings. It is so gorgeous. All their pieces are super high quality. They use lab-grown diamonds and 14 karat gold. They come in yellow gold, white gold, and rose gold. And I love this brand because it's all about the modular concept. You can pretty much come up with endless ear stacks because it's all about mixing and matching with their add-on pieces. Starting off with my right ear, they come with diamond studs, that's the base. So this one's in the large size, 
this is the medium size and then they actually have a petite size as well and then these are all add-on pieces the teardrop this one and then here but the uma this teardrop i pretty much have worn for years now it's my favorite and it just goes with everything it's my everyday piece and then this little add-on piece here and i love also their cuffs especially because I don't have any piercings on top. It's a great way to accessorize. So great quality, so they don't come off your ears and I've never lost any of them. And then on this year, again, the Uma. And oh yes, I forgot to mention this piece also never comes off my ear. I love a good chain detailing. And I love the dainty little diamonds. And then this diamond huggy is from Missouri. And I've added it with this little stud add-on piece too. So they have a variety of different add-ons, which I'm gonna show you guys my faves that I wear. This is such a stunning piece. I could add it onto this earring right now. I'm gonna be taking this to New Zealand for a wedding that I'm gonna be going to. See, it has this little hoop on top, so you can attach it on a necklace. So something like this, if I added it onto a necklace, so beautiful. I discovered Ideal three years ago, and I know when I love a jewelry brand because every time they come out with new pieces, it feels like Christmas. I really love how dainty all the pieces are, but they each are a statement on its own. You guys can see the holes so you can adjust it how close or far you want it from your ear. And then this emerald cut one too. These I usually like to put on my second hole. This is one of the first pieces that I fell in love with. I'm gonna also attach a photo right here so you guys can see how I styled it. They recently came out with a new version that I'm obsessed with. And so as you guys can see, I can easily add this add-on piece and then create like a different ear stack just by adding this piece. Super sparkly, gorgeous. And with the add-on pieces, you don't have to get them in a pair, you can get them individually. So I'll just do different earrings on every ear hole. And then the last piece that I wanna show you guys, which is definitely my top five fave, is a cup with this chain. And then I have these pearl earrings that I love year after year. These you can wear in two ways, this in the front or the big part in the front as well. But I like to wear it with a smaller um, pearl in the front usually. When it comes to statement earrings, one of my favorite brands is Monica Vinader. I love their pieces because it's really comfortable to the ear as well, so it doesn't feel heavy. First one is this knot earring, and I love like the tiger eye. This one I would consider part of my like everyday collection. It is this charm diamond link earring, and you can actually take this charm off and wear the diamond link on its own. These are also my favorite hoops that I have. Comfort is everything for me, and these are really light on the ear. Also this wave earring. And then these shell earrings. They're kind of like the Bottega ones, but with a little twist. And again, I love how light they are on my ear. Next up is bracelets and watches, and I think this is what a lot of you guys have been waiting for. It hasn't changed too much, but I've added a couple of new pieces. So I'm gonna show you guys my everyday arm stack. This first one is a mini heart diamond bracelet from Missouri, and then this one is a half diamond tennis bracelet from Missouri as well. And I love how dainty both of these are. It also just stacks really nicely with my other bracelets. The newest addition to my bracelet stack, this is the six diamond Then Love bracelet in the size 16, and I love it. It's so beautiful. This is the regular, just classic love bracelet, also in a size 16 and then the classic Juice Dong Clue in a size 15. They tell you to size down for this. The only other bracelet that I would show you guys are these bangles from Monica Vinader. I like to wear two of them together. So now on to watches. I personally love collecting watches. I'm gonna start with showing you guys my oldest piece to my latest piece. This was the very first luxury watch that I got for myself. It was the Cartier Tank Solo. They no longer make this anymore. It's now the Tank Must. The solos are flatter on the side. You can also change the steel to a leather strap. I remember I wanted a classic everyday watch that was super versatile. This was my one and only watch that I wore for years and I absolutely loved it. This next watch is also from Cartier. This is the Tank Louis and I switched it to a black strap. It originally came with a brown strap for me. This may still be my favorite watch out of everything. It's just such an iconic piece, super classy, and I just love the history of the Cartier tank as well. I'm gonna put it on for you guys so you guys can see. There's something about this watch that hits different for me. It excites me to wear the watch. It's very sophisticated yet chic. 
I always knew from my very first Rolex watch that I wanted a two-tone date just. It was like my dream watch. Not only is it a classic, but it's very timeless and elegant. And I got it at the boutique in Paris and I had to wait list for about nine to 10 months. It is the date just 31 in a silver face with diamonds and Jubilee bracelet. I wanted to make sure it was gonna be something that even years down the line when I'm much older, it would still fit into my style and a piece that I could really enjoy. I knew exactly kind of what I wanted in terms of size and the bracelet and the diamond, but then the face, I was torn between either a silver face or a yellow gold face. I'm very happy that I went with the silver because I feel like it just gives a little bit more of a brighter and younger look. I also knew that for my first purchase that I wanted to gift it to my mom. So I also went back and forth with her to kind of decide what she liked with the watch and she loved the combination that I came up with. After getting the date dress, I knew that if I was to put down another wish list, I'd want to get a completely different watch, something that is a bit more sporty, casual, and young. And this is the watch. It is the two-tone Submariner, and this is size 41 millimeter. Obviously a total different look than the Datejust. This is what it looks like on. I love the casual sporty look to it. It's definitely different than any of my other watches. And surprisingly, I think it suits me pretty well. Last but not least are my necklaces. I'm gonna start off with what I have on first. This first necklace, it's this beautiful gold choker from Monica Vinader. It's my favorite piece from the brand. So many of you guys have also gotten this necklace and you can also adjust the strap. The second one is Van Cleef Vintage Alhambra in the Mother of Pearl. I've had this necklace for years now and although the Mother of Pearl is quite dainty, I haven't had any issues with it. I have showered in it before. It's the one piece that I always try to remember to take off before I shower. And then these two pieces are from Ideal. The chains are also from Ideal and you can adjust them into three different lengths. These two are my favorite pendants. They're so gorgeous, sparkly. I do love to switch up the pendants. And so I'm gonna show you guys a couple other ones that I wear a lot. First is this pear one. Look at how it sparkles. And then this is another favorite, it's the Ada. And because they're all so dainty, they're so nice to stack with each other. And then the Solo 5 pendant, this comes in a lot of different sizes as well, but this is probably their largest one. This is my other favorite everyday necklace that you guys see me wear quite often. It's the Diamond Heart Pendant Necklace from Missouri. And you can also adjust it in three lengths. So this makes it really easy to style with different pieces. A question that I receive frequently is how my necklaces are never tangled, but trust me, they are. I also sleep with all my necklaces on, so they usually are tangled, but a way that I try to prevent them is by layering and using different chain sizes. A couple of chains that I love. This first one is the Boyfriend Chain from Missouri. I also hook it on anything, so you can make it into a choker or a really long necklace. And then also this paper clip chain necklace this paper clip chain necklace and then it has this little round part right here where you can add charms a couple more necklaces i love this diamond tennis necklace from monica vinader again i love all the statement pieces first is this wave chunky necklace these are a great way to like accessorize especially for a wedding and then this one i really like especially with layering some of my daintier pieces with this one chunky piece you can also unclip these as well and make them either longer or shorter. And then this tennis necklace that I've received so many questions about. This one is from the brand Curve. These are not diamonds, these are cubic zirconia. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect diamond tennis necklace, but this one I think is so beautiful and obviously it's so much cheaper than a diamond <laughs> tennis necklace. So this is it, this is my most worn everyday jewelry pieces and some of my favorite brands. I'm gonna try my best to link everything that I mentioned and I hope you guys enjoyed the jewelry collection and hopefully it was helpful for some of you guys who are eyeing any pieces or looking to build their collection. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.